Speaking of needing help, residential nice guy Jimmy Fallon is uh, not so nice, apparently. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, here? riders needing to be treated, right? It's, 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 it's wild, right? So It's really carried across. A few days ago, the big Rolling Stone article dropped an expose, if you will, mm-hmm. of... Um, Shock horror. It is uh, two existing staff members and 14 ex-staff members kind of do uh, providing the expose of what it's like to Working work on, on the, the Tonight, Tonight Show, Show with G- uh, starring Jimmy Fallon. Um, there's been allegations of kind of erratic behavior, which has been speculated to be... Um, Sorry, define erratic behavior. So there was an excerpt here where they say Fallon seemed to be confused during rehearsal. Um, he crossed out jokes on a piece of paper he was holding and then quizzically looked back down at the, at, at the same sheet of paper to be like, wait, what am I doing? Like fake news, move on. But, the, but there is allegations kind of behind that yeah. saying that, you know, there's, um, he likes to drink. Yes. So I've who heard. does it in Hollywood? Though? I've heard about so, that. So, so coping with that. Yes. Um, but there's also allegations of kind of playing favorites where, um, some of uh, he's actually designated part of his staff to sit on a different floor and he does not want to mingle with people that he doesn't know allegedly Oof. and he holds on to his favorites um but to to add to the previous point uh basically there's a lot of different outbursts the staff don't know what to expect from him inconsistent behavior so it's that feeling of um unease and sci- and and the lack of psychological safety for when you're coming to the workplace and that's a highly touted role, like oh, job, yeah. right? In the industry, the late working, night industry working in late general. night and, and bringing working the laughs. Near Rockefeller. And, yeah. yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of aspirations that are tied to that. So again, it's this rosy, rosy exterior that's coming out, but at the behind it all, the toxic environment that people are being subjected to at times. You would think this is a really interesting pattern, especially following the likes of Ellen DeGeneres, yep. James Corden, the yep. fact that they were also all exposed um, to have created toxic and uh, toxic work environments as well, mm-hmm. which really begs the question of, these personalities building their image on being nice, being kind, uh, just being lovable, and for it to be the total opposite behind the scenes. It's really strange if that's the strategy that they're choosing, right? Because, again, if you're not being your authentic self, and I get it, this is showbiz, right? Where it's mm-hmm. like, it's it's the... Um, Different persona from... Performing what, and making the people laugh and whatnot, but kind of feels like who hurt you what are all these demons that are coming (laughs) out and it's just you sorry are you talking about jimmy in this example oh anybody who's been out like so yeah so so what if we're talking about the daytime nighttime uh talk show route so there's jimmy fallon there was ellen degeneres there was um james what's his face james corden who's bowing out who's who's bowed out out now it just feels this it's, and it's also the pressure of the job, right? And that's not to make an excuse for crappy behavior. But it's this weird, like, comeuppance where they've, they've risen to the top. They're at the top of their game. They're but popular. They Everyone knows them. Can't be nice. So this is the latest, by the way. So um, uh, just in the day prior, um, Fallon has apparently apologized to the staffers after the release of this Rolling Stones in an all hands Zoom call. Don't you love that? <laughs> the most cost efficient way. Don't I, you I, love that? A handy Zoom Sponsored call. By Zoom. <laughs> Allegedly, he said, It's embarrassing and I feel so bad. Um, sorry if I embarrassed you and your family and friends. I feel so bad. I can't even tell you. Man, I should have actually put in my, like, whoa. Like well, my, 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 my Jimmy and, Fallon impersonation. And the fake, <laughs> fake laughing with your whole body. Oh, oh. my. God. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see right a bit through it, right? Yes. And this is, this, this is the, the, the really sad thing. I, I'm sorry I, I got caught. I'm sorry I got we, caught. We used to. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're sad. used to. Because the wording as well is very precise. It's sorry if I embarrassed. There's no accountability here. Yeah, no. Yep, yep, yep. So, so what? Remind me, what was the whole Ellen situation again? She was mean, right? But Ellen's yeah. had like, like what? What happened with Ellen again? 
It's just more same 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 yeah. toxic work environment. The exact same thing that's happening here with Jimmy Fallon is the exact same thing that happened there, where they had terrible showrunners. That's crazy. What is terrible? This what do you mean by terrible showrunners? Working working writers. So the show burn. so so it's the writers, so they're right? the host, right? Yeah. So how it works is the so you got the key talent being the host. You've got the writers that work in the background too that support and. Um, um, collaborate to figure out the jokes and the punchlines. You've got the showrunner in all other TV shows where they're calling the shots, basically. They're kind of like the director, but especially when it comes to like quasi, right? quasi like, live yeah. TV. Yeah. Yes. Ultimately, right? They're the so project manager that's running kind, the execution kind of. of it, right? So for, that's what happened with Ellen, but even on Jimmy, apparently there's been nine different showrunners in the last nine years. Whoa. That's a big turnover and it's a big, when you're trying to set up the, I guess the culture and the rhythm of a, one of the, like, who's the, who's the highest ranking late night show at this point in time? Um, oh, it's, Jimmy, it's, so, yeah. it's somewhere. Um, it's got to be between those, yeah. between, between them two, right? Well, who's, who's two? Jimmy and who? Ellen. Oh, Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Jesus. East Coast the versus Jimmy's. West Coast, right? We need to get one of these guys. Jimmy's out. Yeah. yeah, so it's it, it's there it's, can it's only be one Jimmy. One Jimmy. I mean, there's Jimmy from uh, Mr. Beast as well. So oh, okay. Um, but there's the there's the same comparisons with Ellen with Jimmy, where apparently there's um uh, so for Jimmy's case, there's been seven seven former employees that say their mental health has been impacted, and it's commonplace to hear people joking about wanting to kill themselves. Very bad. Oof. Like when you're in an environment where it's just. This is the this is your dream job and this is what you've wanted, but then it just doesn't pan out the way that I guess it is. And there's even talks about crying rooms being Oof. there. That's common. See, um, see, here's my view on this because this feels like this the lizard chat that we had just again, right? Mm. Uh, and this is like uh, one part of like the actor strike too. And the, these creative jobs are everyone wants them. This is yeah. like yes. everyone wants it. Everyone under the sun wants it, right? So if you think of the individuals that come out of it, like I would assume to get like to be a, a showrunner or a writer on this, this is your big break, right? You put mm, it on yes. your resume. It's it. you hopefully think you. So I'm I'm not saying that the the treatment that like uh, that's being alleged is a good thing, and I'm not justifying it. But the the burnout the there are a lot of reputable industries where the, quite simply the turnaround and, and burnout just happens because of the nature of the job and i'm not saying it's right or wrong but the th think of the nature of like a writer right yeah because we remember when we went to america we we came to like a what were we taping a recording of yeah, a we session we right watched, uh, we watched seth meyers they go into a room uh they get almost similar to like what we did today they get a bunch of topics they the writers have to to write the it turnaround is very quick the turn too, so right? mentally yeah. it's very draining yeah uh, and a lot of them get shot down. I would think that the, the percentage of ideas that get accepted mm. is less anyway. So mentally, you're just it's it's it's, a, it's such a pressure part of it, which which mm. which explains why. If I just think that the the nature of the job doesn't help, and like like there are seemingly that there's a pattern here, and, and, mm. and obviously the ego gets to some of these guys mm. as well, right? Like that, that's the thing. But with great power comes great, great responsibility. How can right? he have great responsibility when he's clearly drinking on on the job and like he's not on the, himself? You're right? still at the helm of it, right? There was a. I do remember there was some chat. Um, there was a there was a Dumois post where they were talking about how certain late night show hosts when the strike did happen the first time how around, how they approached where it. they actually how they approached it, and apparently they um there was the likes of I believe it was um Coco so. Conan, yes. um, that actually paid the wages of the writers the while the strike was on, right? And it, uh, and again, it's the difference I feel between somebody who is genuinely wanting to be creating a in, and fostering an environment where you're actually working to deliver good stuff, and um, it's still their job to create that that. That environment, that safe environment. This is no different to any other corporate job, right? Yes. Do you have a choice to be a good person that is going to be people focused, or you're going to be, you could be an asshole and that abuse just, your power. That is going to abuse your power and then just drive to the result that they want to at any cost. 
Does that make the, 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 like? Am I yeah. making sense? Because yes. it, that's what it just genuinely feels like. If you're gonna portray yourself as the good guy, be, be, be but the, that, the good could, guy. that could be his stick. That could be his act. Exactly, hundred percent. But then, I think who's keeping who? Like, I think my like, counterpoint. You know? My counterpoint is the whole show is his name, right? Like it's him, right? So his job, in my view, is to ensure that his show gets rated the most. But but at, at what cost? cost? I get it. I get. I, but I. Th- the flip side is, if his show starts tanking, and all that, then all these guys are without a job. I mean, the, I I have. To, all I'm saying is there are different but perspectives you can still, on it. But as far as I'm concerned, he should hire like someone from HR. Like, I, I I don't doubt that they should get it sorted. But in my mind, like a person like Jimmy, his job is to make sure that he show, at, at, not at all costs. There there is a cost, but that that's the primary focus. It's not the feelings business. It's the show business. So business over being a decent person. Is apparently. Is, apparently. Is, that what you're, is that what you're saying? I'm just saying that the employment of, of those individuals hinges on the success of the show. Yeah. That's that's what makes it not clear cut. I, I do get what you're saying. Like, I do get what you're saying. But again, yeah. that doesn't... Okay, see, the, the flip side to this is like, this this will come out in the, news, flip sides. in the news sphere, right? Yep. Yeah. And in two weeks time, we're going to act like nothing happened and you're still going to have a good show. Well, no, no. It's saying, just, that's my pessimism on all wait, of it. Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a very cynical view it's very, of it's it. A, it's going to happen. Like Ellen, le- Ellen had to phase out. James, James Gordon, Gordon also out. left. Yeah, I but think no one liked James Gordon this, to begin we, with. We're in this um, we're in this moment of time where people now need to be held to account. Yes. And plus, let's be real here, right? Jimmy is probably. Close to his expiry date. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> yes. You had a vendetta against Jimmy to begin with. I love Jimmy. I love Jimmy from SNL days. Yes. I love yes. him. We, yes. And in the early days. So who you want? You want Hassan, earnest. right? You want Hassan. We're pushing Hassan, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, man. We're missing Hassan for now. Let's get some color <laughs> up in here. You, all want, <laughs> you want representation at any cost. <laughs> Well, if they're gonna be nice, then it's better than what we've hey, got. I've at the heard moment. some things about Hassan. Hassan is a self proclaimed like egomaniac. He just apparently has the self conscious of I've control. I've also heard some things about Hassan, but like, hey, we can't be hating on them. Like, it's it's whoever Look, representation is the best one in cost. merit at the time. Maybe Ronnie Chang would be Maybe. great. Yeah, uh, I think I think Let's get Ronnie a bunch Chang. Of da- Daily Show people. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. I think Honestly, Ronnie Chang like Again, comes across as But it's mania. hilarious, right? It's just the perception that people put forth, and then behind the scenes, it's. It's just completely the opposite. It's a burning house. Ultimately, I do feel like if you're going to be the asshole, it's going to come back to bite you one day. That's fair. 